Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something a bit different, still a reaction. Best of Mike Tyson from Mike Tyson Mysteries. Now, I didn't know the show existed, but one of my good buddies, Biggie, requested this. So I told him I'd give it a try. He says it's very funny, so we're gonna test it out right now. I don't know anything about this show. Loud music. I know nothing about this show. I didn't know it existed since, like... Two Come days on, ago. Let's go. Hold on. I have an hour and 14 minutes on my movie. Oh, hi. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, of course, ma'am. We came as soon as we got you. Hey, Hold on. I have an hour and 15 minutes. Just wait an hour and 15 minutes for me, please. No. We definitely didn't wait an hour and 14 minutes. Your mom said to watch you, but you don't do anything. Oh, that is lowbrow. It's funny as shit, but it's lowbrow. Hey, p <laughs> Pigeon! I don't know. Is that the same guy from on Golden Pond? I don't know. What are you watching? Fast and the Furious 3. No, wait. Jaws 3. No, wait. On Golden Pond. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same guy. Did any of you hear that? Please tell me someone heard it. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck, Marcus? She heard the sound. Oh, damn, I'm sorry. I thought I let that one out quietly. Well, I had a head of cabbage for breakfast, okay? I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my... <laughs> a whole head of cabbage for breakfast. Make him fart. Fine. It's okay, ma'am. Let's take the car out on the freeway, and we'll all be real quiet, and we'll all pay attention. No screens, guys, okay? Everybody put away your screens. Away. Yeah, Dad, everybody. you're the only one watching a movie. <laughs> Hello? Ah, what is that? Can you believe how loud this shit is? It's the worst thing in the world, man. I keep thinking this lady's crazy like she was making this shit up because of fucking depressed life. But it's not that, it's real. What are we gonna do? <laughs> because her depressed life she's making. Oh, he's such an honest guy, I love it. I don't think I can take it much longer. Neither can I. <laughs> Hulk? Oh my god, he's the Hulk. Now, they told me this was similar to Scooby-Doo, kinda. So there's a little gnome in the car. Okay. Maybe this little screaming gnome that was trapped in your car knew what the sound was. Deezy, man, would you mind taking off your shoes? Maybe, eh? Shoes, man. We become a no-shoe household here. Oh, not a problem, Mike. You get the carpets clean? No, I read about all these things people tracking through your house, man, with the it's shoes, true. dirt. Okay, so comment below. Is that an American thing where they actually wear shoes in their house? Because in Canada, we take that off at the door every single time. It is gross, so. Urine, vomit, semen, and pollen. Man, I've been sneezing all day. Wait, you're going to Afghanistan? When? Right now. What? They need to fill the slot. Wayne Brady just dropped out. Hold up, man. I'm the backup choice to Wayne Brady? That's a huge fucking honor, man. I love Wayne Brady, man. Man, what's that show, man? Who the fuck line is it? Okay, DD, we will do it. You can't disappoint the troops. They're expecting improv, and they're getting improv. But we don't know how to do improv. That's the beauty of improv. You don't even have to know how to do it. improv. You just have to improv with seven on the top of your head. My God, how many times are you assholes gonna say improv? You know what we gotta do when we get there? Get them a thank you gift. Yeah, as soon as we get there. What kind of shit they sell in Afghanistan? I don't know. I think I've heard of an Afghan rug. What the fuck does Deezy need with an Afghan rug? Okay, but who made this show? Like, who wrote this show? Like, whose idea was this? Like, a pigeon? This man that's... I don't know what this man... Why is he just white? I don't know. Like, who wrote this show? <laughs> Michael, what are you doing? And don't just say who wrote the show. Like, well, I mean, I don't know what I'm asking then if you're not going to tell me who produced this. But whose idea? Was this Mike Tyson's idea is what I want to know. I think it's a radio shack. Like a pigeon? Dad, we need what? to follow him. My bad. That ain't a radio shack. It's just a shack shack. Dad, I'm really starting to get nervous. Can we practice or something? No, honey, no. I told you. You don't practice improv. Well... It's I don't true, think I can go it's out true. Okay, sweetie, I understand. You're not funny. Hey, pigeon. <laughs> I understand that you're not funny. 
Let's do it. We're the funny ones. Oh, I'm not doing it. Okay, cool. Marcus, it's Marcus. just me and you, dude. This is why I stopped shopping on Amazon. <laughs> what the heck? So, I don't know. And Mike Tyson, former heavyweight champion of the world. But the real heavyweight champion of the world are you, the troops. Oh, that I just came up with that right now. That's how good of an improv I am. Okay, we take you now to a bank. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the bank. I understand you are interested in um, taking out a loan. Uh oh, something's not gonna Michael, go well. Say something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh God, I can't think of anything. My heart is beating a thousand miles an hour. I'm so nervous. Marcus, use your ghost powers to get us the fuck out of here. That's her. Okay, she can't know why I've called you here. I mean, what if I'm wrong? Okay, so he's a ghost. That answer my question. Answers my questions. Wrong about all this. Oh, you're not wrong. Relax, sir. She won't suspect a thing. Oh, hi, ma'am. I'm Randy. I went to school with your husband. And this is, um, my sister. And this is our son. Aren't you Mike Tyson? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> There's some Scooby-Doo uh, monsters. You can kill these sexual deviants, alien, but you can't kill my friend. Boom! Boom! Semen. You're what? My wife was what did he alien? say? And what did he say? Did he just trip in the semen? Is that what he told me right now? Now she's just gone back to her home planet? We were married for seven years. I just, I just can't believe it. We're so sorry. Well, I guess as bad as it is, for whatever reason, it makes me feel better to know she wasn't unfaithful. What are you talking about? She is very unfaithful. I would estimate she slept with anywhere from one to ten thousand people. She was probably harvesting sperm for an alien species. Unless she was just doing it for her own personal pleasure. Either way, she was very, very promiscuous. <laughs> what an honest guy. What an honest guy. Uh, uh. One to ten thousand is what he said. That's quite a number. Who knows? It could be two. Not bad. It could be ten thousand. That's crazy. I don't know. Dad, you didn't have to tell him that part. <laughs> Did you guys know it was his birthday? What are we gonna give him? I don't know. I could give him gonorrhea, but I'd have to fuck him. Hmm, I feel like we can do better. <laughs> the picture does gonorrhea just to, to boot, like, just to add the, to the randomness here. But that's a good backup. Okay, backup. read the mystery to Plan B. Busy, honey. My name is Julie, and I'm a production assistant on The Charlie Rose Show. The Charlie Rose Show is a talk show on PBS. I need your help, because last night's guest, Greg Popovich, has gone missing. Please hurry. Hurry means to move or to proceed with haste. I know. What do you think? I'm a fucking idiot? I don't know. Don't birds have small brains? It's like he took two steps away, and then he was gone. <laughs> Maybe he got swallowed up by all that darkness behind the table. I mean... It's pitch black, man. What kind of cheap ass background is that for a talk show? Dad. I'm not just wrong. saying, man, if Charlie Rose wants to be successful and if he wants to compete with the Jay Leno's and the David Letterman's of the world. They got rid of Leno, it's Fallon. And Letterman retired. Fallon? Who's the other guy? Oh. Jimmy Kimmel. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. That's not the guy I'm talking about. Who am I thinking of? How the fuck would I know who you're thinking of? The one with the city in the back. I love when the pigeon curses. Background dickhead. This is a waste of time. We need to be looking for him in places I haven't already looked. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we the Julie mystery team? Or are we the Mike Tyson mystery team? Because last time I checked this tracksuit, it said Mike Tyson mystery team. Yep. No, it doesn't. It just has a question mark. What? <laughs> Fucking DZ. The whole time I thought this said the Mike Tyson mystery <laughs> The whole time. Mystery team. Is my face at least on the back? Somebody please tell me my face is on the back of this fucking tracksuit. Uh, yes? Good, because I was going to kick somebody's fucking ass if my face wasn't on the back of this thing. <laughs> I love listening to him 
curse. Oh my god. Fucking... But when I throw around the F-bomb, it's inappropriate. Question mark my ass. Makes me seem like I'm I think it's walking funny. around. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Then he got up and went, where? <laughs> walking around like, I don't know. Oh. Whoa. Please. Promise me you'll carry on in my place. I will, Charlie. You hear that machine? I will. Yeah. Timothy got you. <clears throat> it has been a pleasure. Thank you for being with me. Half suit, half half uh joggers i love that oh thank you for having me i think that man wanted mike to take his place fighting those machines yeah but he's doing all right hey he fixed that background that's Tomorrow night, true our guest will be new york times columnist paul krugman good night everyone all right that was actually very good good suggestion um it's funny it's funny i gotta give it that it is funny random i've never heard of this show before i like i don't even know what to watch this on um i hope you enjoyed that make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye